there's some traffic right in front of her and Hardin Rubman, and there's the report is there is rain on the racetrack. So Joe Rubman, if he's going to get by, he's got to do it in the next. Oh, it's Darrell Waltrip spinning in turn number two. Waltrip losing it right in front of Ricky Rudd, with whom he was battling for position. And Waltrip will bring out the caution flag with 100, not, rather 188 laps down. And Earnhardt wins the race, the race to the flag. If it should start raining and we complete 200 laps, Dale Earnhardt is going to win the race. It might have just ended right there. We've got an outside chance that that move, that last turn, coming off of turn number four, it might have been the difference. And here's a spin as Waltrip lost it right ahead of Ricky Rudd and Bobby Allison. I didn't see any contact. There may have been. I did not see any contact whatsoever uh, between Rudd and the 11 car. Looks like Darrell just got in the corner and possibly the racetrack a little bit damp, lost control, and spun around. Darrell did not lose a lap. Right. He was able to get the car under control and continue on. He is in the lead lap. That is correct. However, Jeff Bodine, Neil Bonnet, and others are making scheduled pit stops once again. But this is really an unexpected factor that works into the formula of attempting to win a race on the Winston Cup Trail. You know, if this were open wheel, particularly IndyCar or Formula One type racing, everybody ducks in the pits and you put on rain tires. But you don't do that, of course, in Winston Cup racing. The Winston Cup cars can go longer because of their extra weight than the open wheel cars under what conditions. But how far can you go and still be safe? And, of course, Larry has been on the Formula One circuit so far this year and will be back with another Formula One race next Sunday from Imola. We'll be right back in North Wilkesboro.